Today I'm going to talk to a new puppy owner who used my book, Do the Puppy Nanny's Guide to Training Your Puppy, plus some common sense, to train her Morky. Yeah, Morky. That's a Yorkie and a Maltese Terrier cross. They're very small. Uh, and this dog is amazing. I met her first when she was about 12 weeks old and I was astonished that she was already probably 85 to 90 percent uh, potty trained to pee pads because she's too small to go out. <laughs> In the dark you'd never see her again so she's far better off because she really is a little lap dog so but she's now four weeks later she's I'm going to say she's a hundred percent potty trained which is pretty darn amazing. Um, uh, Joan and Marvin are longtime dog owners, but they've always had big dogs, so now they've gone to the opposite extreme with one of the smallest dogs around. And you know, like so many new puppy owners, they, they too were, had had puppies before, but they'd also lost an old dog, so there's a long time passes between, between puppies. Uh, and so I had nothing to do with the training of this puppy other than to have a chat with them when I brought over the book before young Gracie arrived. Uh, we'll meet Gracie when she zooms by, but um, Marvin is going to fly in and fly out right this minute. Uh, hi Marvin! Hi everybody! Bye Marvin! <laughs> and I will introduce you to, to Joan. And this is Joan and... Gracie. Well, Gracie is here, but she's right under my feet at the moment, so that's okay. We can Where's wait for... Gracie? Oh, there she is. Hello, Gracie. Oh, are you leaving? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yes, you're very good. I'm hoping that I'm going to incorporate in this some video that I did a few weeks ago. Um, do you know, Joan, that there, you have decided that you're going to train this little wee morsel, but many, many owners of small puppies don't train them at all. That's true. They don't potty train them, they don't train them to do anything at all, which is a shame for the puppy because they're smart. They love to learn, as you have learned. They just, they're good little students. Off. Thank you. Oh, what a good girl. So, why did you decide that training such a small dog was important? Well, I've seen badly behaved dogs uh, that are adults, and I didn't want one of those. And I know it takes effort and time, and I was willing to put that into a young yep. puppy. And uh, they learn what you teach them right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very much believing that. And uh, she's been a pleasure, but it's been a 24-7 job. But I know it's, it's gotten so much easier. Yeah. That, that's exactly right. Yeah. You're now eight weeks into it, aren't you? You're eight weeks into having her at home. Yeah. So you're uh, you're finding in the last couple of weeks that it's not quite yeah. such a 24-7 job. Yeah, no. I think you said earlier she now sleeps right through the night. Through the night, and we sometimes have to knock on her crate to wake her up. And <laughs> Morning, Gracie! She slithers out and does a little uh, <laughs> stretch. And <laughs> when, when you decided that, yes, you didn't want a badly behaved dog of any size, what was the what was the thing that you felt most important that you wanted to teach her? Well, first of all, the potty training because that yeah. can be a problem. You don't want your furniture and floors all messed up on. Yeah. And uh, so that was a real supervision thing. But um, the potty training, and also for me, it was important. She was a, a good social dog. Mm -hmm. I've seen dogs who can't stand anybody but their owner, right. and they'll growl and get angry. I wanted her to be okay with other dogs, and um, just. To, to be a, just a pleasant dog that people enjoyed being around. Right. And so how did you uh, how did you know how to go about that? Well, I had a little help from <laughs> a very nice lady named Jude Lemoyne who has this <laughs> lovely book. And I have marked it because <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I have gone back and forth. Um, um. One of the things that was important to me was from what Jude had said was uh, to to have a designated smaller area when you first get them so they're not just your house isn't free reign. Yeah. Because it's so hard to control them when they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. And this way we kept it to the kitchen and she has her kennel and it's a it's a puppy apartment type of a kennel where she sleeps in one bit and goes through a window mm -hmm. and has her pee pad and in the daytime both doors are open so she's in and out. And if we go out then of course we close it up and I always put her um, her a uh, tong chew type right, toy in yeah. there with maybe a little bit of peanut yep. butter or something yep. and that's their settling as you say in the book yeah. <laughs> I just I love it I hear you saying these things and I'm going right out of the book right out of the book 
Well, it uh, works. It really does work. Well, I think so. that was why when I came to visit Gracie initially, uh, and you said something to me as I was leaving, and I said, can I come and do a video? Yeah. Because... About being consistent. About, yes, exactly. That was the key, was the being consistent. And I, and I thought, well, and I'm, having seen what you had taught, Gracie, I thought, wow, if people could get the message, if you get your tooth caught in the ring, honey, <laughs> it's going to hurt me and you. Um, the, if people could see that, that that's easy enough to follow, mm -hmm. to get the idea, then, and they could hear somebody, I mean, I can tell them that, but I wrote it. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> it's really cool to have it come from someone who is a new puppy owner. And I think you helped me to see that you have to sort of connect with what the dog is thinking, because they relate to us in a different way than we, you know, we may say something and they, what is she saying, you know, they, they respond to sometimes how you look and, yeah. and your, your, what yeah. you do more so than your words. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, she, she's, uh, she's a sweet, adorable little dog yeah. and uh, a work in progress. She's not perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> but who'd want a perfect anything? I mean, really, we're not perfect either. So, are we? No, we're not perfect either, Miss Gracie. No. Uh, well, that's so cool because, and the thing is, you, you were so right to make the comment about uh, picking up on or, or figuring out what the dog is thinking mm -hmm. and that's what struck me the first time I met you mm -hmm. and Gracie well not I've known you before the first time I met the three of you together mm -hmm. was that in addition to the sort of basics you know the sit and the come and all of that mm -hmm. you had developed a wonderful relationship with yeah. Gracie you and Marvin both yeah. and yeah. that's us both. why yeah. the training goes along yeah. so so that plus the consistency so yeah. Uh, you know that that's very and you that you figured out yourself because that's not there's nothing in the book that says about well maybe there is but not it's not sort of a, an overriding theme of the book but you just yeah. figured out yourself that the relation that yeah. watching and trying to figure it out would be the way to go yeah for sure, for sure. Um, and so if if you were going to pass on some advice to a new puppy owner what would you say I think you've already answered this but I'll, I'll ask it anyway. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the most important thing to keep in mind when you get a new puppy and you're tr trying to teach them some things? Um, well, the consistency for sure. Yeah. And, and put in the time because it, it will make, it's like with raising children, what you put into them when they're under five is what's going to stay with them. Yes. Yeah. If you just expect them to, oh, well, I'll, um, if you say, oh, well, this is okay, I'll let them do this this time and not the next time. Right. You have to have a routine that's consistent. Um, routine. Know, yeah. Spend the time yeah. and consistency. Like we have her on a crate on our bed. She's close to us, but the yeah. crate is there. And if we sort of were, were to give in and say, oh, we'll let her sleep with us, yeah. then don't expect her to go back into the that's crate. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And the other thing, I guess, too, is um, I hate a dog begging at the table. So when we eat, we, we just totally just um, don't pay attention to her and she just knows then we're eating but once I'm finished I turn my chair away and then I have my coffee and then she comes and cuddles and she's fine with that yeah. so I don't she doesn't uh, she's not used to that yeah so. well I mean and there's the, and there's the common sense element yeah. you know that's yeah. what you would have done not exactly sort of ignore your children while you were eating, but, <laughs> but if it was behavior yeah. you didn't yeah. want, you didn't encourage it. Yeah. So it changed, it caused them to figure it out. And I think that that's probably been one of the many mm -hmm. keys to your tremendous success with this tiny little munchkin who's still only four months old. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. So my last question to you about that book is, mm -hmm. do you feel I mean, you have a huge element of common sense, which, as my mother used to say, is not all that common. Uh, so, <laughs> but do you think that a new puppy owner could follow the steps in that book without difficulty and, and have the same level of success that you did with the consistency yeah. and the time, of course? I certainly can. I have highlighted several things because I wanted it was stuff that I thought, nope, that's, I'm going to do that. And then I, wanted, I highlighted things and and marked it because um, it just reaffirmed what I wanted to do. Right. Sometimes yep. you want to give in and say, oh, well, I'll let her do that. Yeah. Or yeah. I'll give yeah. her yeah. some particular food that she really shouldn't have, but you can't go back. Yeah. That's you right. You can't go yeah. back. Yeah. And the other thing I liked what you said in your book about when you first get them, uh, they get used to whatever you expose them to when they're young. We've exposed her to the vacuum cleaner. Uh, she's been in another car and she loves it, but it, it, 
in the beginning it was all new and so she's quite comfortable with all those things yeah. and the other thing I found in the book that was very helpful was to to handle them yeah to make sure lay them on she'll lay on her back when I'm putting a little coat on her I can put her on her back and do up her little mm -hmm. uh, that or whatever, whatever. Yeah. and she's quite comfortable because she trusts just trust okay me. and so I I can handle her um, I can clean her teeth she lets me groom her as far as the hair and uh, we clean wow. her eyes and sh and she has a little foot bath every two three days and so she's very comfortable with that all because you started early yeah. handling her yeah. the other thing that you said and I before I when when you and I are finished chatting I'm going to do take my camera and do just show people the crate and also show them the fact that we're in your kitchen yeah. and there's uh, our nursery <laughs> yeah, there's your, your nursery there's a, a low gate that bars off the living room and the TV room and the hallway and Marvin has put in that gate I know because I've been shown uh, <laughs> some little openings and you were saying that uh, earlier that you like her to to not to do everything for her to let her think for herself tell me tell us it has to go back in the room she's got to kind of figure it out because otherwise you don't want to just it's like with a child if you do everything for them they're not going to learn and uh, the next time he'll open the other one and so she's kind of always having to think okay I have to go around the circle to get to here and or the other and then at yeah. night we let her in the living room with us and she's she's quite good there now she's yeah. very She's very happy to be here. Excellent. Yeah. You're going to be very healthy, and your mom and dad are going to take very good care of you, little munchkin. <laughs> so thank you, Joan. This has been fabulous for to, taking the time to let new puppy owners that my book is a valuable yes, resource, it and it will help so. to alleviate the frustrations that seem often to come with a new puppy. That's it, folks. And remember, always have fun with your puppy. Roof!